Hey guys, how's it going? This is Average Cracker with a video tutorial on a poor man's really clean window. Now I just finished cleaning the car. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera. It's really sunny out, so like the glare is in my way, but there's streaks all over this window um, that are from the soap left over because I wasn't using the typical soap that I use, which is usually more expensive. This is like the really cheap stuff, so I think you can see it right there. If I run my finger over this stuff, you can kind of see it come off and leave little streaks in there. But um, before I get started, I'd like to show you guys a little quick tip. So if you've ever seen deoxidized uh, plastic trim and this works on rubber too anywhere on the car but typically this is the area where it'll get cracked kind of like that is right there um, hopefully the camera picks that up basically all you have to do is get a little towel and get some tire shine uh, specifically armor all tire shine because I don't know what the other stuff will do or if it'll work as good but of course you can buy the uh, rubber cleaning stuff and reoxidizer at your like parts store or whatever. But I just use this since I already have it laying around. What you do is you spray some on your towel. And I don't normally put it directly onto the plastic because you can get all over your trim and everything. I mean, all over your car. And uh, I already washed the car, so I don't want to go do, and do that. So then anyways, you rub it into the towel and you try to be as accurate as possible with this so it doesn't get on the window and just Rub it in to the uh, plastic trim. And that's that. So anyways, back to the window. So what we're gonna need today is to basically get off all these little marks, these water marks or soap marks from the soap and the water that I used to clean it. First, we're gonna use it, we're gonna hit it with this rubbing alcohol. Where am I? This rubbing alcohol. And that'll take off any sort of wax or stuff that we have previously on here. Uh, soap and pretty much this should clean it completely but we're gonna use some invisible glass cleaner and I choose this because it kind of foams up and lifts the dirt pretty well so I do like this stuff at the end of it I'm gonna put some wax on the window just to keep the water off in the rain and it'll kind of like deflect it okay so first thing I'm gonna do is take my little towel and put some rubbing alcohol on it you don't need much honestly a little goes a long way Make sure you cap your rubbing alcohol if you're working outside or really anywhere because that stuff evaporates super quick. What you're gonna do is just rub this in. And then just let it sit for a bit and it'll evaporate. So I mean, right now it's looking totally clean pretty much, but of course I wanna go a step above and use this just to lift off any dirt or anything that's on there. and. I'm gonna use this stuff to take that off. What you wanna do is actually shake this up. I'm just gonna spray it directly on the window. And you wanna get that white coverage over anything that you're gonna clean. Okay, now you're gonna take your little, another different towel um, without the rubbing alcohol because it might just clean the stuff off completely. You're just gonna clean it like you would with a normal window. So once that's done, you're gonna pull out your wax. I don't like to use the same stuff that I have in the car because the car stuff is a little bit thicker, I think, than this. And what I use on the car, by the way, is turtle wax. Of course, you can always use that on the window, but I've experimented with this stuff for about two years now, and I found that the spray wax works the best. It doesn't leave a thick sort of layer over the glass. Um, that leaves it to basically just get smudged when you roll down the window, you'll see like a line here and that drives me crazy. So um, I'm just gonna spray some on. This stuff smells really good. Is what this is gonna do is deflect the water and it'll kind of like just run off. And of course you can buy actual water repellent stuff that you put on your front window um, and that pretty much does the same thing. It'll beat up the water and make it fly off. But 
I mean, if you're going the cheap route, if you already have this stuff laying around, just use it. Okay, so going on the inside of the car, I mean, you don't have to go through every single step on the inside unless your windows are totally caked with like dirt, I don't know uh, what your car looks like, but I mean, mine is fairly clean on the inside. So I just go ahead and use the spray wax, but I don't actually spray it onto the window like I did before. What I do is I spray this and you do the same thing that you did on the outside with the wax. Until there's no streaks. And this method works on anything that you really want to make it shine as well. And that's pretty much it. And as you can see, it didn't take me long at all. And that is the cheapest, easiest way to clean your windows and make them crystal clear. Like I said, you could theoretically put wax on here if you'd like. You can even use like the actual wax that you put on the uh, little circle foam pads and just rub it in. But the issue with that is it's gonna leave an even thicker layer of it. Um, unless you really go to town rubbing it, making sure that you're, you just have just enough. Um, but I don't recommend it again, because if not, when your windshield wipers go across that window, you're going to see those streaks. And I mean, it pretty much wears out really, really quick, ends up on your windshield wiper. And then you got this one empty area and you'll see on the areas that the wiper doesn't hit, you'll see water just beating up and flying off. And it, it's kind of stupid. So just put it on the side windows, put it on the rear windows, put it on the interior. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and if you haven't already, make sure that you hit the little bell right at the bottom right hand side of the video if you're watching on the tablet. And I believe it's the same on a computer, but that'll keep you up to date on my videos. Um, every time I put one out, you guys will not get notified right away, and then you can watch my new content. So thanks for watching, I'll have more updates on the exhaust. I'll probably do a tire video um, pretty soon because those are getting worn out. And I still have to review the kicker uh, hideaway speaker and uh, pretty much give you my final thoughts on that because I have had it for a while. So thanks again for watching.